Okay, here we have a brand new Micro 830. Let's go ahead and check out the label here. We'll zoom in. And you can see this unit is a 2080 LC3010 QWB. And we can see there is a factory seal there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that part. We can see series, firmware, a lot of different information there. Now, you don't want to cut this factory seal unless you're sure you want to keep the unit. The factory seal is there to ensure that the unit you have has not been tampered with or exposed to, uh, you know, incorrect voltages or whatnot. So only break that if you're sure you're actually going to keep it. Don't open it up just to take a look and then try to return it a week later. That's not going to fly in most cases. So with that said, let's go ahead and cut it. I'll grab my uh, Leatherman here and we will uh, slice it open. And let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Well, the first thing we can see here is the installation instructions. Now, these have very important information in it, like mounting clearances, uh, wire gauge sizes that the unit will accept, uh, cautions and warnings about what to do and what not to do. Um, we're not going to cover that today, but uh, you can also see wiring diagrams in there. So really, if you're going to install one of these, you really want to read, read this document first. So I'll put that one side. And here we have the unit. Go ahead and pull that off. We'll put the box to one side too. Now what they're showing you in this picture is that they do not want you to remove this protective cover until you've done all the wiring and drilling above this unit. In other words, they do not want any filings or wire strands to fall into the unit through the ventilation. So that's very important. You can fry the unit very quickly if you let metal flakes float down inside it. So that's something to keep in mind. That's with all the PLCs that have vents in them. You never want to let little metal filings, condu anything conductive, get in there because it's going to short out the circuits. So let's go ahead and pull ours off here. Yeah, get that off. We'll put that off to one side. And take a look at the front of the unit here. Okay, let's take a look at the top. Take a look at the bottom. Let's take a look at this side. Oh, there's the label. Let's zoom in on that. And let's look at the other side. More ventilation. And let's look at the back. You can see it supports thin rail mounting, as well as being screwed to a back panel. All right, so that is our look at what you get when you purchase a Micro 830.